This map first impressions video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Hey everybody, and welcome back to another map first impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Multimap 2019. This map can be found over at modhoster.de or maru.net. Uh, I'll go ahead and put a link to both of those locations in the description below. Uh, when you download this map, do note that it is a map and a few mods included in a zip file. So when you download this map, you're going to need to extract that zip file into your mods folder. It's There's going to be the map and there's going to be a few additional mods that you're going to need because this is a multi-fruit map. Uh, this map has a number of additional crops associated with it. So this is a 4x map, uh, so it is going to be PC only. Uh, the location to download this map should tell you that it's PC only because it's not at the Giants Mod Hub. And even if it was at the Giants Mod Hub, since it is a 4x map, uh, you're not going to be able to put that on console. So let's just go ahead and jump on in. Now, let's talk about the mods that you get with the map. So, of course, you get the Multimap 2019, and uh, we're going to go ahead and pick the normal mods that we pick when we do map videos. But what you also get with it are these Veritron 470. We get a carrot, onion, red cabbage, and lettuce, and regular cabbage. So we get five extra uh, mods included with the map, and that is because of the extra crops. So let's just go ahead and select those, and let's go ahead and pull up the log, and we'll see the map load up. There we go. We can see the extra crops loading in here. We have even more crops than just the ones that I listed. In fact, uh, the crops are all the standard crops, including oat, rye, spelt, millet, hops, tobacco, onions, carrots, lettuce, cabbage, red cabbage, poppy, and clover. All right, so we've got all the, or the uh, see the log, this info failed to request, blah, 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 blah. That is a result of version 1.3 of the game. That is not associated with the map. All right, so here we are. We've logged into the map. You can see we're pretty error free. And let's go ahead and take a look at the map. Zoom on out here. Like I said, there's a lot going on here. This is a 4x map. These roads are going to take a while to drive around. These fields are big and they are expensive. Speaking of that, let's just go ahead and look at contracts here. And you can see uh, field 2 harvest $43,000. 65 acres. Field 4, 70 acres. $47,000. 41 is 82 acres at $55,000. And those aren't even hard crops to harvest. Imagine if one of those was a potato um, potato contract. So 2, 4, and 41. So let's see here. So here's 2. Um, so area 2 includes a bit of forestry, but 2 is $2.6 million. Area 4 includes a bit of land over here. And it is $3.2 million. And field 41 is down here. Just the field itself is $2.3 million. So on new farmer mode, you start out with the main farm in fields 24, 10, 15, and 23. And uh, we get a whole lot of extra area here with 15. And with 10, we get a bit of a forest, it looks like. And let's go ahead and <clears throat> take a look at our crops. So we've got some nice crop icons added here to the map. And we get down here to all of our standard crops. And then you can see we have carrots, onions, clover, um, lettuce, cabbage, red cabbage. And then this is, what, what would this be? It's probably rye. Um, spelt, a millet, um, that's probably, ha. Uh, that's hops, that's tobacco, uh, this might be poppies, yeah, that's just probably poppies, 
So there you go. So one thing is you may want to go in and change these if you are of different language and these crops don't make sense to you. You may want to go in here and into the game XML. I assume that it still holds. I haven't looked. But back in the 17 days, I did a video on how to basically um, translate a map uh, that had different languages in it. Should be a fairly simple XML edit, but you can go dig that map, that video up out of my Farm Sim 17 How To's playlist. Again, I haven't checked, so it might not hold true, uh, but it might work. Take a look at our cell points. Again, we've got the nice extra icons up here. Go all the way across. Got our eggs, wool, cotton, milk. Now, you will see some extra icons in here. Uh, this map is set up for production. The production items don't work yet. But basically, the map author is basically hedging his bets <clears throat> that a new factory script will come out shortly. Uh, he is calling it uh, something else. What is he? He's calling it Global Company. Uh, which is going to be the successor to the old factory scripts uh, that was in 17. So when Global Company comes out, he's going to rev this map and basically activate up all of these factories, and this will be quite a production map when that happens. We've got forage, chaff, wood chips, silage, and then we go into our extra crops. We got poplar. Grass. A. Not sure what that is. Straw. Manure. Slurry. Digestate. Lime. Carrots. Got our extra crops. Onions. Clover. Lettuce. Cabbage. Red cabbage. Millet. Rye. Poppy. Hops. Tobacco. Spelt. Compost logs and cotton round bales okay so like i said lots of these functions are not working yet because of the global company script isn't out yet but you can see we also have several several sell points for all of our normal crops quite a bit of sell points here on the map and quite a bit of starting equipment also None of it is leased. It's all owned. We don't start with any animals. I did see some animal pins um, scattered around the map. Now let's go ahead and take a look at that starting fleet. See, we start out with several tractors. Four tractors. We've got the Fint 511C, a pair of those. We've got the Fiat 13DT and the Massey Ferguson 77 26. So our tractors range in horsepower from 115 to 280 horsepower. We've got the Man Semi, the New Holland 10.90 Harvester. With the Harvester, we get the grain and a row crop header. We've got the self-propelled TMR mixer, the Stara um, liquid and solid fertilized sprayer spreader, self-propelled pickup truck, crampy semi trailer, HW80 uh, dolly trailer large Salford plow, the large Amazon cultivator, smaller Ryle cultivator, Amazon cedar, and the weeder, got the small milk trailer, the Strauderman, the Rapide, the Strudelmaker um, forage wagon, or, or pickup wagon, got a pair of weights, and then we've got some animal areas built into the map that we could sell should we so wish, including a doghouse. Got lots of silos, silo extensions, and we've got our farmhouse. So, nothing is leased. Now let's take a look at uh, those mods that, to represent the other crops that we have to purchase. So we've got the Veritron cabbage, just the regular cabbage. We've got the carrot harvester, lettuce, Onion, red cabbage harvester. Now it is it is a sad, sad state of affairs. I really wish, um, really wish there was a way for the map author to have basically made one mod that did all of these extra crops. 
uh, since you can't get the head um, separate of the harvester, you have to basically buy a half million dollar harvester for each extra crop. It just seems a little bit of a waste, uh, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and then get our uh, Mahindra. Thankfully, this thing runs around the map at a pretty decent clip. And uh, let's look around the farm. Got our farmhouse here. Let's see, is this our farmhouse? Let's pull up the F1 menu. We do get the sleep trigger. So this is this is an old farmhouse. This is an old house that we've seen in a couple other renditions of Farm Sim uh, that we can kind of explore on the inside. There we got our dog. But go in the pool. Oh, we can't even throw it that far. What are we? Like, wuss. But, there. Go, jump in the pool. Jump in the pool. Dogs will want this less. Alright. Let's go ahead and explore the main farm here. We've got a quite posh farmhouse, complete with pool. I mean, come on, that is quite the area. Right now. Right next door to this unsightly silo system. So we got our grain dump. And on the other side of this, we will have our grain fill. Let's go ahead and one over here. Large area here at the main farm for additional buildings and whatnot. Gates, it's gated farm. Now, this is a fuel storage. So we come in here, this is where we're going to fill, and this is where we're going to extract fuel. Got some storage buildings. Some have stuff in them, some don't. There we go. Now. You're going to find this throughout the map. These are blocked off because these are related to production. And once the script, the global company script, comes out, uh, he will go in the map and he'll remove these blocks so you'll be able to use this. So, you know, do not put wood chips in here. It won't work. Wait until the map is revised. But what he's already done is he's already put all of these things in the map. Uh, so when that script does come out, he's basically able to rev it and have a production map fairly quickly. Here we've got water extraction, our water tower. We've got a standard fuel point. More buildings. Got our, some tractors in here. Equipment, and we've got another silo over here. Got our dump back and our fill on the other side. And of course, this is blocked off because this is not going to work yet until the, uh, the factory scripts are done. Remove a liquid fertilizer. Storage, so that is the liquid fertilizer storage once that is working. But it does give you a chance to kind of play the map, get familiar with it, get used to it, so when this production stuff does come in play, you won't feel so, uh, possibly so inundated. Grass storage, straw storage, hay storage. Uh, not really sure what that is. That's that other thing I couldn't figure out what it was. So you got fill triggers. This is going to be storage for seed and fertilizer, or calc, lime, and seed. That up. Those should work right away. Storage for solid fertilizer. Running here across the across the road. 
it appears that we have a I'm trying to look at the PDA down there. I don't know if that's a cow or a pig area. This would be a fermenting silo when it did work, but you can see it's got it blocked off for now. This is a cow area. So then we've got the standard in-game cow area. We know how those work, so we don't need to spend a whole lot of time on that. Self-propelled TMR mixer, additional buildings, whatnot. Including what looks like a bunker over here. Not very long, but it's tall built tall walls, and we've got even some lights up there. Rather nice. Got what looks like a functional sale of straw, hay, and grass, okay. If those bales are ready. Alright, so let's go ahead and it's a store. It's a shop. Uh, yep, I was like, I couldn't remember if I got the Mahindra or not. Zoom on out here. They all are 4X map. Lots going on, lots of production. Um, you're going to see lots of stuff. It's blocked off, but. Uh, It'll give you a very good sense of how things are going to be. Let's go ahead and, I guess, tackle the north. We'll go up the middle here and uh, hit all of those areas. And then we'll tackle the north. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll hit split to the right and uh, make our way then around the map in a clockwise direction. How about that? So here we go. Right in the middle of the map, we've got kind of the four-way four, four -way intersection. On the proper side of the road. Up here, oops, let's get back on the proper side of the road. Went up to the BGA. What's that sign? That sign say... So that is... That is a map from Farm Sim 17 that was very similar to this map. Um... I remember doing a video on that. It was a big 4X production type map. Here we are, the BGA. It looks like we've got a a repair trigger in there. Nice to see someone is uh well, that's the old shop from the EU map from Felsburn. So we got the big bunkers. This is the building I'd like to see someone actually do something with. Got the BGA, pretty standard farm sim 19 BGA there. Let's go ahead and over here and check out this area. Oh, we got tra Oh, that's cool. We got traffic going in, not just driving around the roads. We, we got traffic driving around the parking lot. This area. It's pretty cool. This looks like it's a cell point. Sale, so this is where we're going to come to uh, sell here. Here is chicken. It's interesting. We've got the old chicken icon from from Farm Sim 17 there. That was pretty cool to have traffic uh, kind of come through and tool through. Now, hopefully the traffic won't uh, slam into you while you're unloading. That would be that wouldn't be so much fun. I do like the concept of traffic, you know, doing something other than just driving down the roads.
Here's that forest that we own. It's associated with field, 11, or field 10. This is a refinery that looks like it is just a cell point at this moment. Um, but there is more to be had here at a later date. Because we do have those blockades. Quite a loud ambient sounds there also. I was zoomed out. You could still hear that pretty good. And we've got another cell point here. And then it looks like a, um, well, a brewery looks like eventually we'll be able to brew beer. But until then, it's, it's just a cell point. Take a look across this massive span, massive span of fields. I like how these roads are, you know, they just they just go off at interesting angles, of interesting intersections. Map started out with a big four-way right here in the middle, then branches off to uh, something a little bit different. So just on a side note, uh, this map is currently, as of the uh, release of this video, this map is actually on our community multiplayer server. They were looking for a big 4x map that had lots, of, lots to do, lots of fields and everything, and this map seems to uh, fit the bill pretty good. Here we got kind of an industrial area, I expect. Yeah, as you can see from all of these blocked off areas, there's going to be a lot going on at some point. Till now, it just looks like there's a few cell points. Where we do have cell points, everything is nicely labeled. So this is a fuel. They will be able to maybe buy or sell fuel from there. Make our way down south. Let's turn on here. And we got something something big's gonna go on in here. There's lots of lots of per potential for production to happen. But for now it's just a cell point. sell our logs in here probably be manufacturing things like pallets and whatnot so Got a bit of a ravine or a river that's running through there. Off to the right. I like how we have different elevations going on here. 
where the road was somewhat elevated above the cell point. Get to another cell point. See the road is up here. Another, it's like a production facility for, um, possibly for pallets. Sawmills down this way. Traditional sawmill over here, and it looks like this is where you're going to be producing all kinds of stuff. So we got wood purchasing. So they'll sell your wood here, but you know when it comes time for the production stuff to happen, it looks like this is going to be used to make your board logs. These things over here. Then you're going to be able to come over here and possibly store wood chips. Yeah. Like you'll be able to maybe. It's like you can burn things or something. Like I said, a lot of this. Chip. There's a giant wood crusher over here. Doesn't work yet because it's going to need that script. But you'd put your logs in there, and then basically you get wood chips out the uh, out the pipe. Again, it doesn't work quite yet. Some static animal areas over here. It's probably the uh, there was a mod. This is this is there was a mod in 17 that allows you to uh, basically take your animals to a butcher. That looks like that's what that is, where you take your animals to a butcher and then they would uh, process your animals into steaks and sausages and and whatnot. Big old building in front of here is uh, a logistics center. It looks like it's going to be a large storage area for your big um, for your production. So you're going to be able to come in here and basically dump all kinds of things in here and dump and fill the so cardboard, beer, booze. Cigars, cigarettes, cake, bread rolls, bread, paper, and more. But right now it's not working. And look at that, we can go inside. I don't know if we'll see pallets of stuff spawn in here. When we come in here or what? It's pretty cool that these doors can open up. We've got cold storage over here for random things. Carrots, red cabbage, cabbage, salad mix, lettuce, cucumber, and tomatoes. You look inside here.
And over here we've got even more stuff. Boardwood. Where we can store... This is what they'll look like. Pallets of lumber. Over here we can store pallets of pallets. That's the logistics center. Looks like right now there's just a cell point in between these buildings. Let's see here. It's, here's the cell point. Uh, it looks like there's even more logistics on the on this side. Oh, we spun out. Over here, we're going to be storing Oshi, popcorn, oatmeal, grape oil, sunflower oil, and soybean oil. So that's a lot going on. Sure. Now let's head on. Head on further south. Went straight, that would take us back to the main farm. We're going to go ahead and put her on south. Check out what's back here. Fuel pump. So we buy and sell fuel probably at some point. Well, this is going to be probably production of booze, whatever. Right now it's just a sell point. There's definitely areas in there for production. Same with down here. Yeah, right now it is just a, a sell point. But it will be something much, much more later on. Let's see. Looks like you're going to take pallets. And who knows what we're going to get out of this. Sure. Pallets and cardboard go there. Or wood go there. And we'll get something out of it. I don't know if we're going to get pallets of boxes or if maybe there's some other goods that we have to put in here. Um, paper. Looks like that's paper. Paper. Paper, pallets, and cardboard. Storage for seed and fertilizer and lime over there. These are these are some big, big fields. Down south. Check some more out.
When I first looked at this, I thought, you know what? This is uh, this is all production. There's no sell points here at the moment. When I first looked at this, and I thought, well, maybe I wouldn't do a video. I'd wait till that global company script was working. Uh, but then I thought, you know what? The map is totally playable just as a traditional farm sim map uh, with all these extra crops. Now, I hear a lot of folks scammering and asking about you know, extra crops. Does it have extra fruits? Is it multi-fruit? Is it this? Is it that? It's like I don't understand what the big draw is with extra crops. But at any rate, let's kind of fit that request. And, uh, you know, it'll, it would allow folks to get familiar with the map so that when it did go production, uh, you would be, you would know where things were. Um, so it might fit, you know, it might fit a few bills before the map is totally 100% done. People could go ahead and enjoy it. So that's why I thought I'd just go ahead and do a video. I'll point down here. Let's head over the river. See if we've got some woods to go through. Production facility here, I bet. Might just be decorative because we've got kind of a forest in there. I think we've got a bit of a lake. little area there was a uh, was a fill trigger there might not work I might need the production stuff I did see a fill trigger there beside the uh, bit of mountainy going on whoa 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 so the worst thing with this Mahindra is if you uh, Get a couple bumps at high speed, it will go it will go crazy on you. Let's let's do a little in cab driving so we get to our next destination. Oh, that's animated. Nice. That's the first time I've seen that animated. Nice. And I got a posh horse area. Horse area. Horse. <laughs> posh horse area. Got the in-game horse paddock there. We got a hayloft. Some static horses kind of over there. And the cell trigger. This might be water. And this looked pretty cool. Collisions aren't quite right on it, but it looked pretty cool if it would be animated and everything. Looks like we missed something there in the middle of those four fields. Oops. We'll teleport to that in a bit. That is a huge grass area that I guess you get with that field there. Expand that field out, or, uh, or just uh, just use it for grass, or the uh, BGA, or whatever. They're, they don't look. If you look at the map and think of it as a 2x map, they don't look big. They look nice sized. They don't look massive, but when you scale it up, 
these are some pretty big, pretty big fields, but still not stupid big. You I mean, were not talking like 600 acres big, 600 hectares big. Big production. Right now, it's just a sell point. Later on, it's going to be. It's like this would be an industrial, like. TMR mixer, TMR factory. Oh, just got taken out by an access gate. Cow seed facility. For now, it's just production or just a cell trigger. And if you didn't have enough going on in the map, you could put down more. It's a placeable area right next to a little, little lake. Lakeside community. I was trying to see that sign, but I was squirrely on the road. All right, we are just about done. I mean, the fields aren't flat either. You can see the, you can see the rolling hill. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! You can see kind of the rolling hills through the field here. Let's get kind of ground side, ground level. You can see how that field's going up and down. So it's it's kind of easy to think from from a high altitude like this, that a lot of this is flat. Um, but it, that's not the case at all. Here we have the spinnery. Again, it looks like there's going to be production going on, but for now it's just it's just a sell point for wool and cotton. This might be a place where we're making fabric or something. There was a mod in 17 that allowed you to, to make... Um, clothing and fabric they're probably pallet factory animal dealer also be a cell point Oh, let's see. In here, been here to buy our animals. Lots of ambient sounds in here. We got some pigs, sheep together, cows. This side. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go north. Just a few more areas to look at, guys. I know it's a long video, but again, it is a 4X map and a lot going on. Now, this video would be a whole lot longer if it was uh, fully, fully, oh, well, where are we spinning? Again? This video would be a whole lot longer if it, we, if it was fully um, rolled into production. See us having to do another video once, uh, once the production aspect of this map is uh, is ready here we've got a uh, another sheep farm something there that's going to be producing a lot of things bakery so we're probably going to get our breads, rolls, and other things out of there. Very 
here we've got here only sell of oil seeds okay that's not blocked off but okay so we can sell soybeans sunflower and canola there I suppose and eventually it will be used to produce um, eventually we'll be able to produce like canola <coughs> oil sunflower oil and um, soybean oil or vegetable oil maybe let's just let's take a shortcut back area here it's water tower pretty cool looking water tower Radio tower on top. Then it looks like, oh, we got a castle up there. We got a bit of a windy road. Get up to the next few areas. So let's, let's just go in cab and enjoy the ride. Show up turn. Oh. Forested area there off to the left, it looks like. Doesn't look like there's a train on the map. The train might be rather useful on this map. A bit of a campground over there. Oh, we got a cool little, uh, hey, tour bus, tour bus parking. Thing we don't have AI traffic going up and down this. Never be able to get up it. Uh, this is kind of a cool, cool way of using the uh, the Felsburn Castle. Kind of look out over the northern part of the map at least. That's pretty oh that's pretty interesting. Here, let's do this. Alright okay, guys, well let's just go ahead and I guess we'll start closing out the video. Um, let me know in the comments what do you think of multi-map twenty nineteen? Again, this map can be found over at modhoster.de or um, maru.net. Okay. Uh, it is and it it is four X. It will be at some point a a pretty heavy laden production map. Not there yet because the M Company script and the fabric scripts from Farm Sim 17 Days do not work in Farm Sim 19. Uh, there does sound to be that as if there is um, a script called Global Company that is in the works. Uh, that when it is released, uh, we'll basically take the place of the fabric script and the M company script. Oh, um, so that was a sell point. But until that happens, basically we can play the map as a traditional farm sim map. Uh, you know, crops and everything. This map has several added crops. So we've got our standard crops, 
in addition to that, we have um, oat, we have rye, spelt, millet, hops, tobacco, onions, carrots, lettuce, cabbage, red cabbage, poppy, and clover. So guys, until next time, happy farming.